What's up guys? Another patch this week. It's actually pretty nice to see patches coming out every week, I think. We've had three out of three weeks, or three out of four um, patches per week, which is actually pretty impressive. I mean, uh, they're, they're lower patch, they're, they're smaller patches, rather, uh, but it's still a good thing that the patches are coming out a little bit more frequently. I'm all for that. Um, there's actually not a ton of things to go over this week, m mainly just the new trap that came out, and which I will go over really quickly um, after at the end of this video. Uh, so, let's see. What all changed? Um, the archer is the free-to-play hero this week. Get him up to level 10. You get a 650 bling discount. Not too big of a deal for a lot of people who already unlocked him. Um, the home page has been revamped to put more emphasis on your castle. We released an alpha version displaying your castle's estimate um, estimate estimated value in blings uh, i have no idea how they estimate this my castle's worth like fifty five thousand blings for some reason i don't have any idea um, i guess it's based on materials barricades as well as visual customization um i don't know i guess it's a cool thing i mean why not i guess it's interesting, like, I, I looked and I was like, oh, 55,000 blings. I have no idea how much other people's are. I guess you can share your uh, your estimated value in blings in the comments if you want to. It'd be interesting to see how uh, how high some people's are or low some people's are. Um, castles banners, they basically just made these more pronounced for uh, green being easy castles, yellow being medium, and red being hard castles. Um, they just pronounced them more and made them look a little bit, uh, I don't know, more fancy, I don't know. Um, new rare trap added to the game, the Hot Roller. I'll go over that at the end of this video. This rare trap can be crafted using rare materials in your crafting lab for a limited time only. Deadlier than the notorious hamster wheel, the Hot Roller inflicts massive burning damage to anyone it collides with. And then the Devlin is also gone at the same time. Materials can now stack to 999, that's amazing. Um, the problem is I'm pretty sure you can't stack one, uh, like two stacks that you already have. So you're going to have to like wipe out the materials, materials you already have and then uh, build them back up. Because I think I have like three stacks of certain things and I can't stack them on top of each other. Um, they improved some of the appearances in these... Uh, these, uh, like, what, are they, what do you call them? Themes? Castle themes? Improved the visual quality of region skies and you can see that in the background I guess um, improve the look of bling gems inside bling mines basically just a lot of visual updates um, I'm trying to see if there's anything gameplay I guess we can look at balancing um, they made changes to tombstones they actually did this before um, this was a hot fix last week uh, I noticed it and Someone, people were targeted attacking me, because it happens to me a lot, and people were dying and I wasn't getting any tombstones, and I was like, oh my god, did they remove tombstones from the game completely? I was going to be really upset, but uh, it really basically just made it so that, um, so if you find someone inside of the attack screen and you attack them once and you die, you'll leave a tombstone. If you attack them a second time and die, you should not leave a tombstone. If you targeted attack someone, you won't leave a tombstone. And if you're just friends with someone and attack them, I guess that would be targeted attacks as well. Basically, the only time you can get a tombstone is if is the first time someone dies through the attack screen, which I guess is just a way of limiting the amount of materials people are farming. Um, I I don't know. I'm I'm not a fan of this specifically for targeted attacks. I'm okay with um, not leaving tombstones for multiple attacks. Although if it's from the attack selection, I think it's a little bit uh, better if they could at least allow like two or three like I think let me let me think about this you only lose crowns once but you have the opportunity to gain crowns on like three or four tries maybe even five tries um, it's diminishing returns so I would kind of like to have a tombstone left every time I stand to lose crowns uh, so that would be like five tombstones that one person could leave which is kind of abusive I guess a little bit um, I mean, even three would be okay, I think. I think only one, though. It it hurts the defender quite a bit, because that's a pretty major way of actually getting legendary materials right now. Um, I guess it's not the biggest deal in the world, though. And then they, uh, they buffed the amount of um, traps that are given to new players at the start of the game. Not too big of a deal for a lot of people. I read through the bug 
fixes and known issues. Um, I don't think there's like a, anything huge in these. I was looking for known issues to look through to see if uh, they um, knew about like old creatures having issues, and I didn't see anything like that in here. So um, there is. Let's see if I go to news and I go to the hot roller. I can take a look at this. I don't think there's anything too interesting to uh, note inside of here. Instead, I think I'm just going to jump in the game. And let's see here. I'm going to throw the one hot roller that I was actually able to craft into my castle and uh, show it to people who might not have the materials to do that. To see if it's worth it for you, if you want to actually buy one. Because this is way more rare than the devil and ever was. I know I said I wanted to try to get 8 to 12 of the new stuff, no matter like what it was. I'm shooting for four of these. Like That would be my goal, because they're extremely expensive. Um, I'm not going to spend any blings on material packs. Like I said before, I don't think it's worth it. I think you could spend. I could spend like 5,000 blings right here, and I might get two or three epic, uh, epic materials. I don't think the drop rate is nearly high enough inside of the uh, the packs to actually justify spending money on them. So I wouldn't personally do that. For other people, you might want to you know test your luck and try for it. I just haven't had any luck, so I'm not going to be buying any. Um, let's jump into the castle though. I'm going to do a little bit of farming, and hopefully my t tombstones will drop like one or two. I might actually throw this one into my castle somewhere and hope that it gets kills so that I can uh, harvest tombstones from it specifically and hope that uh, hope that it um, will drop some epic uh, drops. I will take a look at what it actually requires just so p if people haven't logged into the client you can see it. It's very high in the cost though. It's I think it's like two number 42s which are epics, the ones that are used for bosses, and I've only far farmed two, I think, whatsoever. I did I did create one boss, the uh, Stabbington. I'm not sure if he took a uh, love or a uh, 42. All right, so let's talk about this trap. At first, I actually thought that it was going to deal um, DPS damage anytime you touched onto the rail, because the rail looks red hot, and when they said damage over time, that's what I thought it was. Instead, it's not. It actually hits you for a flat amount, and then it deals three ticks of damage over time damage after that. So let's talk about the damage. It's about 650 to 750, and then it does deals three ticks of anywhere between like 50 and 80 um, damage. So if we're talking flat damage, the minimum you could see would be about 650 plus 150, so uh, 800. Yeah, that's right. Um, which is actually pretty high. So yeah, 650, and then these are all all above 50s. Um, it's pretty high. It's a 5 defense point trap, so it's too higher than regular uh, hamster wheels. Regular hamster wheels are dealing at the highest about 250, maybe you can push it into 300 if you really um, want to think your hamster wheel is OP. But that just like that was 830 damage for a 5 point, whereas I could get 300 damage at the absolute max from a 3 point. This is probably always going to be worth it if you have the points available and you um, and you're using mouse wheels. I think this is always going to be worth it. It is the slow version, it seems like. I think I would actually have to test that. It looks like it's the slow version, though. Let me see if I can test it up here. I'm going to try to sync this up and look to see if I can figure this out. Hold on, right there. Yeah, it's the slow version. So it's the it's the slower like new version of it, basically like the crafted version. Um, the older versions are a little bit quicker at getting off of the actual like ends of the of the uh, I don't know rail I guess of like reversing direction. They're a little bit quicker. This one's the slow version, but it still deals a high amount of damage. It's worth it for five points, but how many how many of these you're actually going to be able to get inside of your castle? Uh, I can't imagine it's going to be a ton. I'd be surprised if you see a castle full of these, or like even one room full of these. Like how many would that require? Like one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is a minimalistic mouse wheel room, and you'd need six of them for this. I would love to be able to get six of you just to make one room of this, because it would be so strong, but I have a feeling that that is going to be almost impossible. Uh, so let's look at the actual cost of this so that I know exactly what it is. So right here, it takes two um, of the number 42s, 
the three legendaries isn't too big of a deal. These drop pr fr pretty frequently from tombstones. And then the uh, 40... What are those things? I have actually never seen. Like, what are these even used for? Io de Trape. I have no idea. That is some, like, French thing, and I butchered it for all the French people that are listening right now. I'm sorry, I don't speak that language. <laughs> um, I guess it's just used for most traps, but not in that amount of, uh, like, mass, I guess. So 40 of those is actually going to be pretty hard to farm as well. This is almost twice as hard, maybe three times as hard as the Devilin was to farm. Possibly higher, actually. Like, just in commons and legendaries alone, having that be 40 instead of 20 is twice as hard. And probably even more than that, because I think Eagle Souls were a little bit more common than these things. And then, number 42 is way high, harder to get than Danger Oxide. And I thought Danger Oxide was pretty hard to get at the start of, um, the start of when defense crafting actually came out. So, it's going to be a pretty hard trap to actually mass up and get, um... I don't see it actually happening. I think it's way too overpriced right now. Like, I cannot even imagine why they would make it this high. It doesn't even make sense to me. I, I can't see... Like, they are trying to do some, like, weird competition. I don't know if I can show that. Um, where would I go to see that? I think it's replays? No. I don't know. I, there was somewhere that I could look at it inside of the client. This is probably not it, is it? Oh yeah, it is. Alright, so they're trying to like do this thing where there's a mystery minion coming out. It's a most wanted mi minion instead of just a wanted minion, minion. So it's supposed to be like super OP or whatever. And uh, they're saying to craft, like out of the entire game, craft 1,000 hot rollers to just get the first stat. And then they're going to go up to probably like 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 or something like that. I can't imagine that, that, that we're ever going to see that many like crafted. I, I could see... A thousand being crafted uh, by the time that this trap leaves the in leaves defense crafting, maybe the entire server crafted a thousand of them. It's just super rare to get those materials. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's it's really high. I don't know. I mean, I I don't know. <laughs> you guys can share your thoughts, but I think it's just way too hard to craft that thing. Like I can't imagine why they would come out with. Like, why would you spend time designing a trap that almost My nobody's going to be able to get? The or they're going to be able to get one or two of them. I guess that's how they can justify it being a little bit too strong. But even then, it's not, like, that strong where it's going to make or break the game, I don't think. Like, if you put two of them side by side right here... Like, let's, let's just theorycraft for a second, okay? Let's say I have four of them. Do I use one here, or do I use two here? I feel like I have to use two here, because... Um, if I only used one, that they would stay to the other side. Like, let's say I used the first one as one of those hot rollers, and the second one as normal. They're just going to hug the hug the top side and just roll down this one and just take the hit for free. If I used both of them, it's probably going to hit them once or twice for a good amount of damage. But that's it. And I've wasted 10 defense points right there. And I've spent a ton of time crafting. Like, is that really going to make or break the game if you only have, like, a couple of them? Now, I can imagine if you somehow were able to get, like, an ungodly number, like 12 or 16 or something, um, then that would be ridiculous. Like, imagine in, imagine a castle that was just these rooms, these minimalistic rooms. You wouldn't even need to have uh, ballistic cannons, just using these rooms specifically. How, much, how many points would that be? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 per room. Um, you could almost fit... It would be about, what, 40? Uh, it's like 8 rooms you could probably fit when you count in trap generators and stuff. Maybe a little bit less, 7 rooms um, of just those. Yeah, I don't even think that would kill someone. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> That would be pretty close, I don't know. If you take, like, three hits, you're probably going to have to use a potion. So if you can get through with two hits, uh, I don't know. I could figure, figure out the math, but not at, uh, like, 4 a.m., so. Um, I don't know. They're pretty good units. I mean, they're pretty good traps, but I can't imagine anyone masses them up. If I see anyone mass them, if anyone sees anyone with, like, a castle that is revolved around these, like, you know how that one guy had 50 Devlin? If you see someone with like 12 of these things, post me the post me the um, 
the castle name, either attack my castle and leave a leave a comment or comment on one of my videos, one of the recent ones, because I might might not come back and check this these uh, comments after like the, a day or two. But one of my recent videos, if you post that, I, I just would like to see a castle that was revolving around hot roller traps. If anyone is able to do that, I can't imagine it. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I have nothing more to say about this patch. There's not really much to it. It's mainly just this hot roller, which I don't think a lot of people are going to get that many of them. So That's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.